Hi guys, today we're going to be reviewing these um, unofficial Lego figures. Um, so, yeah, this this is what we're going to be reviewing. And I know it seems a little off for reviewing unofficial Lego. Usually we do real Lego, but why not? These are cool figures. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll do, we'll take a gander at this packaging. And no, this is actually my uncle's house because uh, he went on vacation. So me and my dad are watching his dog. So anyways, all right. So we're going to start off with Miles Morales. We'll do all the accessories and stuff. Don't worry. Um, just move all this back. So maybe you can see the figures a bit better. All right, so this is the Miles figure. Here, let me sit on. So this is the Miles figure. As we can see, this is probably a take on the Miles figure that has like the jacketed stuff. You know, that's probably the figure it's basing on because a lot of these figures over here are actually based on official Lego characters. So yeah. Okay, and then it also doesn't actually, hold on, let me show you something. It comes with Nike details. Now, that is cool because he does wear Nike shoes in the movie. And, of course, it's based off into the Spider-Verse, so pretty cool. He also comes with this hood. Let's put it on. But if you put it on, it kind of just, like, moves his head around. So I recommend that you would kind of just leave it floppy. I know it looks wrong, and it kind of is wrong, but still, you don't want your head stuck in the hood, because this is actually a really good print. So yeah, I just kind of leave it like this. And then it comes with this web, and you, and a, a lot of Spider-Man sets comes with webs, but this one is like so stiff, like it, it feels stiff, like if you felt it compared to the Lego web, it's kind of stiff, but I'll give this figure, uh... Oh yes, figure a nine out of ten because of that Nike detail and it's just really cool. The web is cool too. I'm not gonna judge it. What's who should we do next? Uh, we'll do this character now. This, this is Mel this is uh, Michelle Jones, of course, from Spider-Man, um, Tom Holland universe. And uh, right, so at first glance, you're like. Wow, I didn't know that Mary Jane has superpowers. I meant Michelle Jones has superpowers. No, she doesn't. This is just, it just, for some reason, this is a really good print. Like, the face right here. Oh, okay, I think the hair is kind of stuck on the face, on the head now. But, anyways, the face is based on the No Way Home um, Lego set. And it's based on a No Way Home Lego set. And it looks really good. Except one problem. It comes with this, like, blast thing. But she doesn't have any powers in the movie or any other movie ever, really. So, it's weird, but still a good figure. Oh, and by the way, putting this together was a pain. Especially those legs. I still think there's a big gap and I still didn't put it on right. But, uh... Here, we'll take a look at Thanos. All right. Okay. So, for this one, I even have some spare parts that came with this figure. So, it's very shiny, very cool. But let me take off this thing. Taking it off is, is easy, but putting it on, not so easy. All right, so this is the actual Thanos figure. I can't take off the helmet because his helmet is kind of molded into his head. Like you can't take off, take off the helmet, take off the head. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so let's show the body without this arm plate. Let's take a look at the armor plate. Very, very good print. Just a little bit on the back, not too much. Pretty cool. Pretty cool helmet too. Pretty cool. And then this is the figure. Now it comes with these gauntlets. So what I had to do to put them on, it was I just took the hands off, 
put them on and then put the hand back on. There's even printing on the arm. I didn't even notice that when I put that on. And then, of course, we have the legs that are very well printed. I'm just wondering why they didn't do this as a big fig, because Daniels is kind of a big buff dude, but, I mean, this suits him for minifigure form, so, yeah, it's still cool. And then, to put this on, you can't just, you can't just put this on like this, because look, it won't, it won't fit, because even if you took off the base, it still wouldn't fit because of the gauntlet, so, what you would have to do is you have to put it on like this because it wouldn't hit the base, but still, it would hit the base though, so you would have to turn it like this. And, uh, yeah. All right, we'll do Green Goblin and then Doctor Strange, and then that's when we get into the Spider-Man. All right, so this is the Green Goblin, of course, from uh, um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You know, that big, massive goblin. Well, they captured. Well, they did it in minifigure form, apparently, for some reason. But anyways, this figure I can actually like show, like I can take apart, show a bunch of the pieces, because it's not so like Thanos, where like his head is now molded into. Like, I, if I take off the head, I take off the helmet. If I take off the helmet, I'm taking off the head. So it's so his head's kind of stuck in his helmet. So. Uh, yeah, so let's check out the arm detail. All right, so we just have some classic Green Goblin scales right here. We have the purple um, wristband. And then, of course, we have the wrist pants. And then these goblin-like legs. I think they came in the Lego Harry Potter Gobby set or whatever whatever that guy's called. But anyways, and then, of course, you can... And then, of course, uh, it comes with a classic Green Goblin helmet. Not much change from the official version, except for the ears, because they're a different color. And then his long purple tongue and his, uh, and his bulky chest and his weird, strange toes. So strange just a strange character to design especially because like even if you would have done this in big fig it'd still look weird because this is supposed to be a huge character all right uh dr strange of course now this is a rip now this i can tell this is a rip off of the newer dr strange not the old one from 2016 because for some reason this one has a because for some reason this one had, doesn't have the cloth cape that some of them do. Most Doctor Strange ripoffs have like a cloth cape, but this one's just stiff. So let's explore this. Okay, so if we take off the head, the hair piece is actually gray. It looks white on camera, but it's actually gray in real life. Take off the cloak real quick. And it's just a solid piece. It's not like most Doctor Strange Lego knockoffs where it has like a cl cloth piece. And then if we put this back on, oh actually I'll leave it off just to show the back detailing the front. Here, I'll, I'll take this off. Here, look. See there? Even has detail on the arms. Pretty cool, right? Uh, then if we take this off. There we go. Lost a piece. Enough with Doctor Strange. All right, let's move on to our first spider. Probably one of my favorites of every of every character. This is, of course, supposed to be the Venice Battle minifigure. And how the fact that um, this figure actually shares the same face with with uh. 
with um, Ant-Man, you know, like Ant-Man, Paul Rudd. Yeah, that character. So, so, so anyways, so anyways, of course, it has the Spider-Man hat that's supposed to represent the one that the actual one has, except this one's more Spider-Man-like. That one looks more Deadpool-like, I guess. And if we take, and then if we remove the face, this does look like the one, this actually, the face actually does look like the face that's supposed to represent how Ant-Man and Peter Parker share the same face in Lego. And then if we turn it around, it, it, it looks like a, it looks like if you took the face from Ant-Man or Peter Parker, because they share the same face, and just smooshed it down more. I guess they did this so that way if you put this on, it won't cover up the eyebrows. Because on this side, when you put it on, it covers up the eyebrows completely. So this face is definitely meant for this huge, massive Spider-Man piece. And, I, and I'm so glad I got this in Lego, be, in, in an unofficial Lego, because this is just one of my favorite Lego minifigures of all time. And I'm so happy that I have this now, even though it's not real Lego. It's still cool to have that torso too with the with the Spider Man Spider Man suit showing. Yeah, I just really like this figure. Alright, but let's move on to this one. And then this one is probably one of my favorite figures, but we'll get to that. Alright, so this is of course Iron Spider. Now this one is from Infinity War. Well this one's from Endgame. Now let's take a look at this Peter Parker face. Is there a backside? If there's a backside, I have to take off the hair piece. It's just kind of come off. Okay, it came off. Okay, it turns out there's only one face, so I just took that off for nothing, but it's a decent Peter Parker print. It looks a lot like him. Um, from the, it looks a lot like the CMF Spider-Man, like the, the one from the um, CMF series. So I just put that right here. The hair looks like classic Spider-Man, just like the CMF. Let me take this back off. No, I put it on wrong. Okay, just... Okay, just just leave that alone. Now, if we take... Now, let's take this off real quick. Alright, so this is the torso. Let's take this off. Alright, so this is the torso. And then this is the back side. And then, what I really like about this is there's arm printing. There's, imagine if there's printing underneath the arms. That would have been so cool. But there's side printing. That's pretty rare. Um, and there's even, like, back printing. Like, even with the holes there. Like, I have a lot of Iron Spider minifigures. And I'm probably going to continue to collect them because... Not correct. Continue to collect them because... They're just really cool. I want to compare all of the Iron Spider figures I have. I even have this head. But I want to show you something about this head. Um, but there's something weird about this head. So, yeah, on the back of it, it actually has the instant kill from Endgame. And also, also this, this is the same instant kill that his regular suit has. You, you know, the suit that he wears in, um, before he puts on the Night Monkey suit in Far From Home. So, so, but the thing is, like, when you're playing, when you're, like, playing with your toys or doing stop motion, like, when he turns around or do something, you're going to see, like, his red eyes. It's going to look like that was meant to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, kind of weird. Now, let's look at the tentacle articulation. It's pretty rough. It doesn't work well. Like if you like if you're trying to get it down, it gets stuck. And then when you do move it, it kind of just like flies forward. So a bit of problem there. Um, and then let's take the head back off. Uh, this is how I dis this is how I would display it. Okay. Now I wish I could display it with the head on, but the reason is I can't display it with the actual head on is because then that would look weird. Like imagine Spider-Man holding a head. 
that is smiling. Looks kind of weird, so I have to do it this way. And then he can hold his mask, because it looks less like a murderer. Uh -huh. At least Spider-Man shouldn't be a murderer. Anyways, so yeah, I guess it was actually meant because it only, he only has one um, web thing. Because if it would have, because if he like only had one head, I bet it would have gave him two because he didn't have to hold anything else. So yeah, so that's just how I display him, so it doesn't look like Spider-Man's a murderer. Anyways, so now we're gonna look at the. Now we're gonna look at the last figure, then after this I'll show you the packaging that all of these came in, and then we'll be done for this video. All right, so before we look at the actual figure, we're gonna look at the webs. So this is not actually how you're supposed to build it. I'm not sure how you're supposed to build it. There's no instructions or anything, but this is just how I built it. So it came with this web piece. This is the piece that stores the backpack in the Lego Daily Bugle set. A lot of people don't have it set because it's very expensive, but I got it for Chris for my birthday actually, so I have it. All right, so what you do is, so it comes with a clip. Well, actually we're starting down here. And then from here, it has like a little peg up front and I put three studs up here connected to this piece and then put this piece just so he can hold on to it, okay? And then if we grab this piece, which she can also hold on to, which is that piece. And then we have this kind of like squiggly piece to connecting to a stud. And then this web piece it also comes with. And that's just how I display it. Now let's look at the actual figure. So this is probably my my, my first favorite, second favorite, this one. Um, because, I don't know, I just really like these Iron Spider figures. They're really cool, but this one especially for one reason. The helmet comes off. It's like it comes with like an extra piece of helmet. Now, a lot of knockoff Spider-Mans do have this. Why do I keep on doing it? Okay, so what I meant to say before I dropped the Spider-Man is a lot of knockoff Spider-Man do have this helmet, but I just think it's so cool. I don't know. And then also, I love the design. This is based off Infinity War. I can tell this is Endgame because it has a more darker tone and I feel the darkness, so yeah. And it even has feet printing, Doesn't no side printing. And yeah, there's arm printing. I'm printing right here. Let's take off the helmet. And then there's no printing on the back of the head. I just, I thought there was. But yeah, so. That was my review on the minifigures, and then look at the bag, and then the video will be over, so, yeah. Alright, let's take the bag. So, this is the bag that it came in. So, let me tell you a little story. So, um, so when it was Christmas time, around Christmas time, I... Um, my, I got some presents, like a, a, a Ned Funko Pop from Spider-Man No Way Home, and, Dad, 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 uh, is the child supposed to be on the camera? No, but it's all the room right now. Okay. So, around Christmas time, my aunt gave, got me some presents, but she also asked me, do you want to, do, do I want any minifigures, like Lego minifigures, even if they're unofficial? And I said yes, and then, so a few weeks later, which is actually today, I got these today, because um, I went by our house, because from here to there is not too far, and uh, I got these from her house. This is what she ordered, and they came in this bag, all the, all the extra parts, are also in this bag, but we're not gonna look at them. Um, we'll do that some other time. And uh, and I, when I first saw these, I was like, wow, these are gonna be really cool. Open them up. They're still really cool, but they're just really hard to put together. 
The one that really was hard to put together is this one right here. This one took me forever to put together. I don't know why, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm watching a movie right now, so uh, I will see you guys tomorrow if I even do post tomorrow. Sometimes I miss posting, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.